Now, the war of words between Saudi Arabia and Iran still continues. Saudi Arabia has a severed diplomatic ties. It's also suspended flights and implemented a travel ban to Iran, which could affect the holy Muslim pilgrim known as the Hajj later this year. Iran has condemned the cutoff, saying it has damaged regional stability. We will not allow Iran to destabilize our region. We will not allow Iran to do harm to our citizens or those of our allies. And so we will, we will react. We will not allow Iran to destabilize our region. We will not allow Iran to do harm to our citizens and those of our allies. And so we will react. Tensions between the two have been rising since Saturday when Saudi Arabia executed what they called 47 terrorists and one was the popular Shiite cleric Nimir al Nimir. He was convicted in 2012 on terrorism charges but was a powerful voice for the Shiite minority in Saudi Arabia. In Tehran, hundreds of demonstrators set fire to the Saudi embassy before police made 40 arrests and protests were also held elsewhere in the region. And there is great concern for the Syria talks scheduled about three weeks from now. It's feared the Saudis and the Iranians will refuse to sit down at the same negotiating table. Many believe that the Iranians in particular are vital to a solution in Syria.